The man behind the king in the Rangers' crease is Steve Valaket. Valaket, drafted in the eighth round in 1996, took a long and winding road to Broadway. Deb Placey has more. Save! And the number one star That's is great. Steve Valaket. Most NHL goaltenders say the same thing when uh, you ask them how they became a goalie, but I'll, I'll ask you why. Well, my story, why? Oh, you'll ask me why? When I was in school and I was a new student in Bolton at the uh, elementary school, everybody had uh, Bolton Bruins jackets. It was the exact same logo as the Boston Bruins, and I couldn't get one as a forward. I got cut two years in a row. So the third year I went as a goalie, and that's how I got my, my jacket. Was, um, you know, I was cut actually that year, and it was the fourth year that I made the team. I, I was a late bloomer. I didn't start playing goalie until 11. I have a list of towns that you did play in. Lowell, Dayton, Erie, Sudbury, Hampton Road, you played in Virginia. You played in the ECHL, Hartford and Providence we know about. You played in Springfield. Have I forgotten any? There was 13 teams, 13 teams in 10 years. After all that time riding buses, you do go to Russia. And a, and a lot of guys went over there during the lockout year, but you went after the lockout. You right. went really just to get a chance to make some money and get away from the American League. Uh, number one, I just knew that, you know, my childhood dream, if it was ever going to become a reality, I was going to have to go to Europe and play for a year because I felt like at the time I was just playing another season in the AHL and just hoping to get up. And it was just the idea that I got my head around that I'm going to go to Russia, I'm going to earn a one-way contract by playing really well, and um, the next year I'll be in the NHL. Blake moves in on Bellicat. Save, and the Rangers win! So what is it about you, about your personality, that has allowed you to persevere? You know, I just always believed myself that, you know, I was going to have this, uh, that the NHL dream would become a reality. For nine years, I went through NHL training camps, and every year, when you get sent down to the minors, it's more or less the team is telling you, you know, you're not good enough yet. So I had to stick with it. Tom Rennie often points to one game against St. Louis. That was the defining moment for him where he said to himself, OK, this is the guy that I want to be partners with Henrik Lundqvist. And had we lost that game, when, you, when we look back at it, we may not have made playoffs. That was two years ago. But it started off really shaky. I let in a, a bad goal to begin the game with. Um, we came back and tied the game and went to a shootout. We went on a roll after that. Um, and that's just being ready all the time. There's nothing more to it than that. And. Um, you know, I guess that gave me a good start, and, you know, it's kind of gone well since then. Open man, Wellwood, save! Big save by Valaket. You probably have interest in other things. Could you have seen yourself doing something else? I mean, you're obviously, you know, a smart guy. Could have gotten a job. Yeah, no, I'm sure I could have worked somewhere else. Uh, my father did everything he could within his power to make sure that I wouldn't follow in his footsteps and being involved in the family company, which is electrical work. My dad made me hate it. He had me run wire up and down since I was eight or nine years old in the shopping malls. Now with hockey and kind of my new love for psychology in the last five or six years, I think that um, what I'm actually trying to do right now because I'm taking university courses is uh, get my Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and I'd like to be a sports psychologist. And Henrik is actually the one who did leak that you are the best dancer on the team. Yes, that's usually my icebreaker. When I go to a new team, I uh, just wait for the first time the uh, dance floor opens up. I show a few moves, and then everybody knows I'm a, I'm a cool guy, so I can hang out. 